uh, um, I wanted to bring up, I suppose, the Commission of Investigation into the Mother and Baby Homes, uh, the report that was uh, given out uh, today. Um, it's the fifth interim report, and we've watched each report, as have the relatives um, of those mother and baby homes. They've watched it very closely, and they've, and they've stuck with it over the years, many of them elderly and frail, and um, some of them sadly passed on without learning about, I suppose, the end result of what happened to their children, their, their brothers and their sisters, and even their mothers as well. Uh, well I, again, the uncovering of the, I suppose, the shame that is Ireland and that was Ireland um, continues. Uh, every layer that we lift on the past brings more horrors to bear, but we expect it now, I think, because we've got so used to it. Uh, 900, almost 1,000 children, babies from 10 minutes old to 15 years of age were given to medical schools just from the Dublin institutions and as though their remains and where they're buried is at question whether their burial ever took place, whether it was a proper burial, etc, etc. And these poor, they all had one thing in common, they were poor people. They were often termed illegitimate and they were also called anatomical subjects were given over to medical schools throughout the country and it was common practice as well at the time in other countries as well. Minister, there's 900 burials that cannot be, I, or leader, 900 burials that cannot be figured out in Bespera. Uh, they don't know where these children and infants have, have gone to. They're somewhere in the ground and trying to establish that is a mighty task. But could Minister Sapone come in and update us on this distressing report and to confirm the due date of the final report she says will be February next year for the families and relatives? Gurumago.